Hello, it's uh, Saturday morning, it's half past eight, um, and I've just got down the allotment. Um, today, I'm gonna be doing some jobs that I've been trying to do for a week or so. Um, we bought this um, water butt, so it's an IBC water tank. So it used to be used for, um, I think it was like sugar syrup or something, and it's been cleaned out. Um, so we bought these, the, the allotment committee here got together and um, organised it and I think they bought about six between various people um, and we bought one. It was £70 with delivery um, but I think it's about a thousand litres of water so that will mean I don't have to cart water down to the allotment with me um, which is nice. Um, so today, so as you can see at the moment it's just a tank, so today my first job is to build a roof for this. So I went to the B&Q last weekend and I bought some wood, so I bought some um, wood and I've already had some roofing felt um, bits and pieces. So I'm going to build a roof for that so we can collect the rainwater um, and fill that up. It is raining quite a lot at the moment so hopefully it'll fill up a little bit through the rest of the summer and we can use that. Um, the rest of the allotment needs a bit of work, although I might not get that to that today, it might be tomorrow. Um, so we've got how many beds? We've got six, seven beds that have got things in at the moment. This bed's empty at the moment. Um, but I'm going to decide what to put in there. We've got one bed here. This is potatoes. So these are actually ones that um, started shooting in the cupboard. Um, so old potatoes. So I thought, why not? We'll chuck them in in one of the beds. Um, so that's doing quite well. Um, probably ready in a month or so, I guess. Um, which is good because at home we've got two beds of first earlies that are one bed's ready to eat now and the other bed will be ready in a couple of weeks um, so they'll be there um, we've got these two beds need weeding very much um, this one has got sweet corn in um, and some weeds um, so they're doing okay this one has also got a couple of sweet corn in but it's been taken over by weeds and we've got a load of um, sweet corn at home the next two beds have got um, main crop potatoes in. Um, oh no, sorry, one of them's main crop. Um, I think this one's main crop and this one is second early. Um, so these should come up after our uh, our first earlies are all done. Um, and they've both done really well. The last, last week with all the rain and heat, they've come up really well. Um, so I'm pleased with them. And they're not too weak. They haven't really got any weeds actually. So we're, we're lucky there. Um, so I'll sort them out. And then these two beds have got courgette plants in. So there's two in this one, three in this one, and a couple of rogue potatoes. So we've got, um, this one's doing really well. Just need to pull out some of these rogue bits. Um, and I think there's some courgettes here. There's a couple of courgettes on there. So that's really good. Um, this one's not amazing, but it's, it's getting there. Um, I'll give it a bit of weeding and that'll, that'll keep going. Um, and then there's a little one there and there. And there so they've picked up in the last week so i'm i'm happy with those um the ones at home have taken off i've got three in pots at home and they're they're doing really well so yeah so lots of weeding to do but first i'm going to tackle that roof and i'll show you how i get on with that i've got all my uh, bits and pieces out of the van so i've bought um osb board so this is 15 mil osb board and it's uh, 6 10 millimeters by 1 2 20 um, and 15 mil thick I was hoping for something a bit thinner sort of 10 10 mil but very limited options in the B&Q I went to um, and as the sort of times are a bit weird I couldn't really get to anywhere um, so anyway so I've got two of those um, I've got these battens um, which are they haven't got a label so I can't remember what they are but they're a about probably 20 mil square um something like that um and there's eight of them there so we'll see what how we get on with them um i've got some roofing felt that i had before and the nails to go in them um and then for the piping i've got a downpipe bit um again i couldn't quite get what i wanted but this will do the job um so i've got a downpipe bit a corner corner pieces, um, hangers for the pipe, an end. I could only get one end, so I'll have to buy another one when I can, but I can 
bodge something for now. And then piping, this was actually at the allotment, some old piping that someone didn't want. Um, so I'm gonna reuse that. Um, so I've got a down pipe, which I can cut up into sections. Um, and then the, the profiled a bit. Um, so that's a lucky find, it saved me a couple of pounds. Um, yep, so that's everything. So first off, I'm gonna measure up um, and I'm gonna join these two boards together by putting a run of uh, wood around the outside and then across the middle to join the two together and strengthen it. Um, and then I'm gonna build a square to go on top of the, the tank um, and then work out where the uprights need to go. Um, and I need to put the felt over the roof. I'm probably gonna tuck it under the wood before I nail the, screw the wood on. Uh, or maybe not, I might screw into the the, the, pla the bits first um, and then play over the top, we'll see. Um, I was sort of taking my design from some of these. This is one one of our allotment neighbors has done. Um, so I was sort of taking my cues off various ones. I've had a look around a few of them um, to see what how they've done it. Um, so something like that. Keep Try and keep it simple. So we'll see, yeah, so the first job, measure up and I'll cut some of these lengths and get the two bits joined together. The other thing I'll quickly mention is to join the um, sort of roof to the tank. The tank has these um, metal um, cage around it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use cable ties around the base um, square that I'm gonna use and cable tie it a lot. I've got tons of these big, big black strong ones. Um, so. I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, screws wise, I'm trying to keep the budget down because obviously it's trying to produce food, not, not like spend a fortune. Um, so I've just brought with me loads of screws that I've, I've had for various projects. I always keep everything. Um, so I've got loads of screws of varying sizes. So I'm sure we can find plenty there to fit. Um, let's see how we get on. I've done the first little bit, worked out a few few little things. Um, so I've put on a batten down one side, joining the two together, and I've just started on the one down the other side. Um, I've worked out which screws work best. Um, I'm using my little Bosch um, electric screwdriver. Um, this is a battery powered one, so obviously I can use it down the allotment. Um, and one thing that's good, I've already burnt through a load of battery power on it. Um, so I've just got my little, um, battery pack so this is a, like a jump start kit for a car um, but it also got some electric outputs on it a USB and other things um, so I'm charging it off that um, I do have we've got the camper van with us so if I need electric I have got a leisure battery in there as well I can charge it up um, so I'll probably get through quite a lot today um, and I've also got my toolkit with screwdrivers and stuff in um, obviously down the allotment don't normally have electric so I have got um, my handsaw, screwdrivers, um, what else have we got, hammer, um, not many tools needed for it, but it's harder not being at home, not being at home with electric. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to let that charge up, have a cup of tea, I might cut some other wood while I'm waiting for that to charge up, um, cut the cross sections for either side, um, and the battens to go across the middle, and then hopefully that'll be charged up a bit, ready to go again. So I've got everything screwed down on the roof part now. So I've got batten down each side, one down the middle, and then I've put some bits in across the side just to stop it flexing that way. And also to put the gutter in on. Um, so next up, I think I'm gonna put the roof, um, roof on, the cover on. Um, so I'll flip it over, put it on and nail it along the sides. Um, and I might sort of tuck it under and nail it on there as well um, just to make sure it's really on secure and across the the top on the other side um, and then I have also cut the pieces for the base to go around the top of the little tank and the legs um, so once I've done the roof next up is sort of making the square and working out what size the uh, where the legs need to go yeah so go on with the roof I finished putting the roof felt on, um, so it took two strips to cover. Luckily, I'd literally just had enough. That's 
over there is all I've got left. So that was lucky. Um, so yeah, so I've given it a good nail all the way around. Quite a few on the top just to secure it. So next up, I'm gonna do the base. Built up the frame on the bottom of the roof now. So I've put the four pieces going up and the base on it. And I've added some bits to strengthen it. So I've added an extra one across each side one in the middle just to stop it wobbling around and we see how we got on with that we're going to move it onto the top of the water butt now and see how stable it is and then I can uh, cable tie it down using these bits of wood so we've lifted it up onto the top of the water butt now um, and I've used cable ties you can see the black ties all the way around um, and that feels quite secure so I'm happy with that so next up I'm going to put the guttering onto the front of it so I'm going to put put the gutter in sort of hangers on the front and put that in and then work out how the pipe can get down into the middle the hole to collect it is right in the center it's in there so we shall see I've got the um, guttering on now so I've got three hangers on the uprights I've got on this end piece and I've got a blocker on the end of that one. Um, so I've got my cross, my down. So now I need to put the pipe. I've got a connector to turn the corner there. So I'll put that on and I'm gonna screw it in so it doesn't fall off. Um, and then we'll measure the pipe down to the hole. I've got the um, guttering on now. So I'd already done the bit across. So I've added the end piece. So I've got this end piece. I do need to get um, something to put on the end of there stop the water coming off but although it will come this way then go down the hole so it's not actually a big issue um, I use two corners here just to turn around the corner um, and I've put screws in just one screw in each just to secure them um, just so they don't fall off um, and I've put a screw in there as well just to secure the pipe um, and then if I can reach up here so I've got a pipe length of pipe going in there it's about probably about a metre of pipe um, and then see if I can get that, that's better and then I've got one more corner and again I'll put a screw in it that just tips into the, the big hole in the middle so there's a hole that's probably 15 centimeters or so um, in the middle and it has that green cap on it normally um, but I've just took that off um, so that's going into there so that that is it hopefully collects lots and lots of water um, not the best job I'm sure many people could do a lot nicer looking jobs but um, Hopefully it'll, it'll work nicely um, and we'll get lots of rainwater. At the moment it's completely empty so we'll be able to see quite quickly if it's worked okay. Um, just to catch up on where, where we are with the rest of the allotment. So, I've, so Anna has weeded these two beds so they've got sweet corn in um, and we've got some more sweet corn to go in them. So we've got this, this some down here. Um, so there to go in so we're going to put another sweet corn there and at this end and we're going to put a, a butternut squash in the middle there so hopefully it can sort of twist its way through um, and then in this bed we've got through four in here at the moment um, so we're going to fill this bed up and put a, a, a squash there um, yeah so they're looking good that don't take me a minute to put them in um, potatoes are looking really good they've grown a bit more with all this rain um, more potatoes this um, this uh, courgette plant is doing really well as well. That's grown quite a lot in the last day or so. Got some courgettes on it, you can just see there. It's two, these two I can see on there that are quite big already. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're not ready in maybe three or four days maybe. Um, that one's starting to pick up. They're looking good now, they've had a good bit of rain and hot days as well. I might pull these potatoes out so they've got a bit of room. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop these sweet corn in and squash. Um, and that'll be great. And then we're going to put, we've got, I think, five or six squash plants. I've got them in here. I think there's five in there. So I'm going to use two for the sweet corn beds. And I might put three in here, just put them in, in the middle down, down there. Um, and another day when I've got seeds with me, I might put some radish down or lettuce down the outside, just while they're growing just to use up the space um yeah and then that's all good 
I've put the rest of the sweet corn in and the squash. Um, so that's good. We were going to do three sisters. We've got beans to go in as well. Um, so we'll see how big these get in the next week or so. Might put beans in there. If not, I could definitely put them in that one actually. I could put them down the side, each side of that one and just use um, use canes on that. It's probably a good idea. Um, and this one we've got, I filled up with squash, with um, sweet corn and a butternut squash. Um, not so good that bed, but you never know, might, might catch up. That's good. And then the last bed, I've planted three um, squash in this one. See what happens, they can always trail off. We don't really use this area at the moment. Um, I'm sort of thinking about what to do with it. Might might put a smaller bed along along the back. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what to do with this sort of space. Um, sort of leaving that in case we get a shed or something. There's sort of quite a lot of room there for a shed. Um, and obviously we've got the other side, so we will be filling that up with beds. Probably get a bit of six beds in there. Okay, I'm gonna put the nets back on these now. Um, and then we're going home for, for dinner. Um, hope you enjoyed watching that and hope you got some ideas with the water tank. Um, see how I did that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.